Aunt Jessica St. Clair, June Van Lentio, the Shazam Man, the Cole Buyer, my friend Trisha Perry, and our whole audience full of best friends. In fact, our next incredible story comes from a pair of women in our audience right now. Their friendship was purely built on the power of handwritten letters. It's exactly the kind of story our friends at Pilot, makers of the G2 gelling pin, the go-to pin of the Kelly Clarkson Show, love to help us celebrate. 47 years ago, they were in fifth grade, uh, one living in Idaho, the other in Louisiana, and they became pin pals. Uh, what started as a school project turned into hundreds of letters that went from grade school through college, marriages, and kids. And what's really crazy is although they'll always be the best of friends, um, they've actually only met in person three times. Well, four, if you count today. Um, let's say hi to Kathy in London, everybody. <laughs> So it began, I had a pen pal actually in school and it was like the coolest thing ever and that's how this started, right? So, so our start, mine started with um, a teacher assignment and we had to pick a state and I guess I, I, I picked Idaho because it was a boot and Louisiana was a boot as well. <laughs> and um, we had to do research on it and then kind of the crowning point of it was we wrote a letter to a student and all the letters were collected. They went to a school district in Idaho and then I waited to see if I would get a letter and it ended up with Kathy and she wrote back to me. That's so cool. So how did it come across to you, Kathy? Your did you want to do this or your teacher it was the same well, kind of assignment? It was a very casual handoff that actually came from a friend who apparently had been handed the letter and didn't want it. And <laughs> so, oh, you know, I handed it to me and, and I reached out, wrote a letter right away and it's always a good sign when the person you're writing writes back. Yeah. And so that really kind of started us off and we traded letters back and forth really regularly. Wow. You know, there's just nothing quite as thrilling as getting a letter in the mail that someone has handwritten. So it was awesome. Yeah, I mean, and it must have been pretty powerful letters because y'all have only hung out a few times. So, like, I mean, over the years, like, do you really, is it, do you find it easier? It's almost like easier to like write it out and have that, it's a different kind of connection, I feel like. It's really like having a conversation, but a really slow, patient conversation <laughs> that we've had over the years that we've gotten to know each other. Mm. And it, it is very powerful. We have found that we have a lot in common. Um, we both grew up in small towns and we kind of went through high school together, you know, writing about dating and clubs and school and studying and then college and what was the future for us and then our spouses and children, now grandchildren, so. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. <laughs> have y'all, did you ever have pen pals growing up? I never had a pen pal. I mean, I love the idea of it. I think it's so beautiful, um, but I struggle with, as Jessica knows, I struggle with communication and responding to texts. I write back to every <laughs> single fan we have yeah. on DM. And they'll send me things for June, and I'm like, I'll get it to her right away. <laughs> like, I'm her social secretary. Well, but the oh two of us really resent other friends we have who yeah. leave us voicemails. Uh -huh. That to me we is hate this day and age unacceptable. I'd rather a letter. I'd rather you fax me. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to send it. Wow. Wait, why do you yes, think that? How dare you send me a voicemail? Oh, I'm so angry right now. I know. So you know the, the effort it takes me to and dial in that? And it's the fear. And the fear. No, wait, now you, don't you have do. To dial wait, you the don't have to dial. No, you can just press the button. Then they transcribe it for you like a text. Or or they have the thing you text you, just hold down the thing, and you say it, and then it sends the I voice. I like a voice memo. Yeah. I hate a voicemail. Oh, wow. <laughs> Important okay. distinction. Important. I I okay. call me, my whole <laughs> inbox is just Nicole leaving me <laughs> crazy <laughs> voices. Oh, but I love it, because she's just like, hi! <laughs> like, she like, make voices. And I'm like, all right. This for two minutes. <laughs> wow. And when her voice mailbox is full, I then leave like an audio message, like via text, and be like, Why it's is it full? full? Yeah. Why? <laughs> full of you. Nicole, Nicole, don't ever leave me a voicemail. Really want they're fun. They're fun. They're very we'll never fun. hear it. Fun. I've had the United uh -huh. States government leaving me voicemails. <laughs> what did you do? There ha who knows? Uh. There has to be a, if it's important enough, they will find other Anyways. avenues. <laughs> okay? All right. Well, like I said earlier, our season-long partner, Pilot G2, the go-to pin of the Kelly Clarkson Show, loves to celebrate long-lasting friendships built on the power of writing. So to honor your incredible friendship, they're going to give you $5,000 to help plan your ultimate girls getaway. Oh, oh my God! Exactly. <laughs> Give you a 
basket of pilot pins because I'm going to say you pilot. like writing letters. So they're, Thank you. they're like, Thank you. Thank you.